I'm Steve Holman, the radio voice of the Hawks. Welcome to uh, our special day today when we're welcoming a couple of uh, new members to our Hawks family. Jayla Johnson and Sharif Cooper, our draft picks from last night. Seems like only a few hours ago that Travis was busy doing that. We'd like to welcome all of you that are watching streaming this afternoon. We're on Hawks.com, of course. We're also on ValleySports.com and the Valley Sports app. So along with welcoming all of you that are watching and, and listening along the way, I'd like to welcome uh, Jalen and Sharif's families that are here in the front row. Nice to see you all. Uh, and hope everybody enjoys the afternoon here today and the, the traffic as we leave here after it's over at about four o'clock this afternoon. But Sharif, you know all about Atlanta traffic, right? So, all right, well, let's get things started. Uh, we will be taking questions after we get some opening remarks from, from Travis and our players. So let's start off with the, the man of the hour, Travis Slink. Not the man of the hour, but uh, well, everybody you said you were on Twitter last night, so <laughs> thank you all for coming. And uh, for those watching, uh, thanks for watching. Um, real quickly, just extremely excited to be able to add these two young gentlemen to our team. Um, you know, they're both guys that we feel extremely fortunate to get in the spots where we got them in the draft, and we're looking forward to build on the success we had last year. And we anticipate these guys being a big part of it moving forward. Uh, we'll hand it off to Jalen now. Um, I'm very excited to be here right now. Uh, you know, excited to get to work. Um, you know, I'm extremely grateful uh, for this organization taking a chance on me and believing in me. Um, you know, it's great people around here. You know, excited to get to work. Yeah. First, I would um, like to say thank you. Pull it up a little closer to you, Sharif. There. Yeah. First, I want to you know thank God. Um, you know, without him, none of this is possible. Thank my family. Thank the Atlanta Hawks for, you know, choosing me and, and believing in me enough to help this franchise. And I can't wait to put that jersey on it and represent Atlanta. Okay, well, nice to have you all officially as uh, members of the family now. And uh, some questions here uh, in the in the building. And then uh, John Steinberg is going to be handling some of the Zoom questions. We've got a lot of folks all around the world that are, are watching right now on Zoom and are about to ask some questions. So uh, we have a very high priced microphone holder here in Gary Narain. And uh, let's get our first question from Chris Vivlamore. Hi, Jalen, I'll start with you if you don't mind. Just kind of take me through the process of deciding to go pro when you did and, and what do you think that you bring to the team? Uh, you know, the thought process is, you know, uh, that's, that's kind of in the past. Um, you know, I'm, I'm here in Atlanta now. Um, so what happened in the past, what was done in the past, that's in the past. Um, what I think I bring to the team is a bunch of versatility, you know, uh, I think I can do a lot on the floor, you know, to help add to this team. Um, and at the end of the day, do whatever it takes to help this team win. And Sharif, if you don't mind, if I jump in real quick for another one. Did you grow up a Hawks fan? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer, Sharif. <laughs> and just so then it must be kind of a dream come true then to land to land here. And did you have a, an idea that might happen? Yeah, definitely. Um, growing up here in Atlanta, uh, you know, watching the Joe Johnsons and the Josh Smiths and all of those guys and, you know, <laughs> seeing the success they have today, um, you know, that's something, you know, I had a dream of being a part of and can't wait to get started. Eddie? Hey, guys, welcome to Atlanta. We'll go with Jalen first. Just talk about this roster and what you like about the fit for you. Uh, I like that as a young, young team, you know, as a young, talented team, you know, they got to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. So um, they're winning uh, with a very young squad. Um, and, you know, I'm just excited to do whatever it takes um, and play my role, um, you know, uh, hopefully we can get more wins. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You know, a great coach. I just had a meet with him. It was, um, you know, real, real up, uplifting. Um, Great, great team, um, great point guard, great, you know, all around team. Seeing the success they had last year, you know, making it to the Eastern Conference Finals and and almost making that next step. So, um, just being some a part of something like that is extremely special. John, go ahead. Uh, you've, you've got the Zoom people. All right, well, do we have another one over Allison. here? Allison. Hey guys, welcome to the A, uh, Allison with WSB. Uh, what, when you guys, I, it's only been not even 24 hours since you heard your name called. Who's reached out to you on the team? Have you heard from any of your teammates? And especially for Sharif, this is your hometown. I mean, your phone must have been blowing up last night. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, heard from Trey Young, spoke to Trey Young um, a little bit. Um, who else? Lou Will, Lou Will reached out. So 
Um, just, just a you know, great conversation, great guys that you know I can't wait to play with. Yeah, uh, you know, Trey Young reached out as well right away. Uh, I think that was my first text I got. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Kevin Herter reached out as well on Yeka. Um, but yeah, the, they showed a lot of love um, right away. So, so I'm excited to get to work with them. And it's, I know it's been, it's not much time has passed, but how much has your life changed now that you've heard your name called and, and you've now made it into the NBA? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like it's changed too much. Um, I still got a lot of, lot of work to do. Um, it's, it's still surreal for now. Um, can't wait to put the jersey on and finally get going in Vegas, but it's still surreal. Yeah, like, like he said, I'm just excited. Um, it feels feel surreal. Um, but you know, it's, it's more work to be done. Um, this is the start of a new journey. Um, you know, I'm ready to work. Okay, I guess we can throw it over to John now for the Zoom questions. Okay, uh, our first question from Zoom will come from Rashad Milligan. Hey, Sharif, uh, this is a question for you. Uh, Sharif, you know, you, you come from a well-known basketball family, especially in the Atlanta area with your father and, and your big sister. Um, so, you know, just how, how did they react yes, uh, last night when, you know, you kind of had to wait a little longer than everyone else expected you to wait? And, you know, just um, what, what did that moment feel like, you know, with all those long nights and early mornings that you guys put in on, on your way here? Yeah, they were, they were extremely happy for me. Um, yeah, it was definitely a long night, but when it finally – you know, was able to hear my name called by the Atlanta Hawks. You know, the, everybody went crazy. Um, it was it was it was just a crazy feeling. Everybody um, yelling and screaming, seeing my mom smile, my dad happy, my brother happy. So uh, that's probably one of the best moments of my life for sure. Okay, let's go to Jamila Johnson. Hey guys, congratulations and welcome to Atlanta to both of you. Um, this question is for Sharif. Sharif, a little over a year ago, uh, Trey Young tweeted that you were one of his uh, top four high school or favorite high school basketball players. Do you remember that tweet? And what's it like to now be one of his teammates? Yeah, I definitely remember it. Um, Trey Young was one of my favorite players growing up as well. Um, watching him and Michael Porter on AAU um, when I was a couple years younger, um, I was extremely uh, high on him, a big fan of him. So seeing him show that love and now that we're on the same team is, is going to be fun for sure. Terrell Thomas. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, congratulations on being drafted by the Atlanta Hawks. Welcome to Atlanta. Uh, this question is also for Sharif. Uh, Sharif, I had the opportunity early in the, in the year to uh, actually speak with your sister about what it was like growing up in your household, like uh, from a com competitive standpoint. Uh, could you speak to me on that and also, let me know how that helped you get to this point in your career. Yeah, it's, it's extremely competitive in the, in the household of the Coopers. Um, day before the draft, uh, you know, we was outside playing three on three because uh, my dad, you know, you're talking a little trash. So uh, we went outside, played three on three. But um, it's just stuff like that happening all the time, especially when you got um, young siblings that's close in age. And my dad is young. So um, it's, it's a lot of competition. But I feel like that. You know what, what makes me me, um, and it helps me when I when I play against other people. Thank you. Welcome to Atlanta again. Appreciate it. Let's go back to Rashad. Yes, yeah, Sharifa. Another question. Um, I, I know. Uh, you know, a couple years ago, you you were pretty close with uh, with Dwight, another former Hawk and Mr. Basketball in Georgia. I uh, just want to know some of the things, maybe some of the tips that that Dwight might have given you. Uh, kind of growing up and coming up in, in your basketball journey on the preps level. I'm sorry, I didn't hear which player you were talking about. Uh, uh, Dwight Howard. Uh, yeah. Can you repeat that question for me? Um, Dwight Howard, you know, you, you seem like you were pretty close with him a couple years ago. He was another former Mr. Georgia basketball and uh, just an NBA veteran who kind of grew up in a spotlight from an early age like yourself. Um, what were some of the things that Dwight uh, taught you, you know, coming up or some tips that he might have given you on your journey? Um, it, I didn't really speak to him too much um, about basketball, but um, I definitely, you know, watched him, you know, from afar and seen, you know, his work ethic and, and uh, the little things he's done um, to help himself. Um, he, he told me little things like, you know, just, you know, continue to play hard, um, you know, be tenacious on the defensive end. You know, the NBA likes defensive guys, so he says stuff like that, but for the most part, he's just, you know, staying 
stand on the side and, 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 and clap and congratulate me. Deshaun Tate. Congratulations to both of you guys on hearing your names called last night and uh, welcome to Atlanta. My question is for both of you. Um, in a smaller window than maybe some other guys uh, of having opportunities to show what you can showcase on the floor, uh, is there something that you didn't necessarily get that chance to showcase on the court last year or in the, on the college scene that you like to show that you can do in the NBA? Uh, yeah, I say uh, the main thing is, you know, I'm just uh, I'm ready to show, you know, that I can play at, at this level. Uh, I think that's the main thing. You know, there might have been some questions last year, you know, it was an up and down season. Um, but, you know, I, I just want to show these people I can play at a very high level. So, yeah. yeah, I agree with him. Um, you know, it's a, it's a new level. I feel like everything else is kind of in the past and you're starting on a clean slate. Um, so, you know, definitely want to show my overall game. Um, show that I can, you know, affect winning at a high level and ultimately help this team get get a lot more wins and hopefully, you know, win the championship. James Hill. Hey, Jalen and Sharif, congratulations on uh, your success. Uh, you've made it to the ATL. Can you talk about helping this franchise uh, get over the hump and get to the finals? Um, there's a lot of... Uh, you know, enthusiasm with this organization and a lot of good pieces, but you two gentlemen are there now and you can help the cause. Just talk a little bit about blending in and fitting in. Uh, I think, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem fitting in um, right away, you know, uh, the way I play, uh, the way my game is, you know, it compliments a lot of people. So I'm excited to get, get to work with these guys, you know, the creativity, the young talent on this team. Um, you know, so I feel like I'm gonna fit in right away, you know, help uh, get the, get over that hump, and, uh, you know, win the championship. Yeah, I feel like, you know, the team was, you know, right there in terms of getting over the hump. You know, without a couple of knick-knack injuries, I feel like, you know, they probably would have won that series. But um, just adding a, another, you know, person that can elevate his teammates. Um, as he said, his game compliments, you know, a lot of people. I feel like he, he compliments myself, um, being that I can, you know, pass and, and um, you know, do things, distribute. So. I'm just adding another uh, ball handler, uh, somebody that can create plays for itself and for, you know, for other people. So um, that's what I feel like I can bring to the team and, and ultimately, you know, win a lot of games. Back to Terrell. Thank you. Uh, gentlemen, from an entertainment standpoint, the Atlanta Hawks have done an amazing job of keeping their fans engaged with celebrities, but both on and off the court. Uh, my question is for both of you guys as well. Uh, in your rookie seasons, will there be any celebrities uh, that you'll be looking forward to possibly sitting courtside this season at State Farm Arena? You know, you see a lot of rappers at the uh, Atlanta Hawks game, so, uh, you know, I'm not really focused on that. Uh, you know, when I'm on the court, uh, it, it's business, you know. Maybe after we get the win, uh, I introduce myself, but, you know, when I'm on the court, it's business. Uh, I'm not really worried about celebrities or who's watching, you know, I'm just trying to trying to get the win. Yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for those guys, you know, supporting, you know, the Hawks. But, yeah, when, when you get in those lines, it's, it's all about basketball. And, and who, who's watching, you know, kind of doesn't, doesn't matter. Thank you, gentlemen. Allison, let's go back to you. I'm just curious now, what's next for you guys? Are you trying to find a place to live? Are you heading out to Vegas soon? What's next now for you guys? Yeah, I'm, yeah. So you know, Vegas is the next step for me. Um, you know, getting getting in the gym right away. Um, you know, working on a little bit, sharpening up, and and get on a plane to Vegas and, and putting on that house uniform. Same thing he said. <laughs> Andy, you've got another one. Yeah, I got one for Jalen. Last night, obviously, your dreams became a reality. You got to shake hands with the commissioner. I know your family was there with you. Can you just walk us through what that was like for you and kind of what was going through your head? Uh, it was a lot of emotion, you know. Uh, it, was a, it was a long day, of course. You know, uh, I didn't sleep a lot last night or the night before. You know, just being so anxious, anxiously excited to find out where I'm gonna be. Uh, you know, just being able to shake the commissioner's hand—that's uh, something I'll never forget. Um, having my family right there it meant, it meant a lot. So um, it's a moment I'll never forget. Um, I'm extremely grateful. Um, so yeah.
Okay, any others? All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to have uh, some some picture opportunities now. Uh, one back here. Oh, we have another one back. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, go ahead. There we go. We've got the microphone there now, too. Sorry Tony about Chambers that. from Fox 5 Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta, both you guys. We kind of heard Travis talk about there's he didn't expect you guys to be there. Do you feel like you were you were passed on? And how will that shape your career, having knowing the fact that all these teams let you guys stay on the board? Um, I know for me, um, I'm just extremely blessed um, to be in this position. I believe everything happens for a reason. I believe God had a plan for me. Um, you know, like, like I said, um, I'm here for a reason. Um, and I, I'm meant to be here, I believe. So everything happened for a reason. Yeah, I, I agree with him. I feel like God doesn't make any mistakes. Um, you know, so so the draft is in the past and, and I'm just, you know, couldn't be more thankful to, that the Hawks took a chance on me. Um, and, and that's kind of my focus for now. Uh, I'm with the Hawks and everything else is in the past. Okay, anybody else now that I've missed? No? All right, now we're gonna do the, uh, the picture opportunities here. We've got uh, Jalen's jersey and uh, we've got Sharif's jersey. We'll do Jalen first and then we'll do Sharif, then we'll do them both together. So you all get your chances. Yeah, do it right this way. Oh, right, maybe in front. Yeah, go down there. Do the one together. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, you guys, thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your Zoom questions today. Uh, fellas, welcome again to uh, the family here in Atlanta. And uh, great to see everybody. And uh, we'll look forward to the season. It's right around the corner. Training camp, late September. First games in October. All right, thank you all for coming.